We begin tonight with the tragedy on I-95 that claimed the lives of three people, including two Pennsylvania state troopers. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartaglia. State police say troopers Martin Mack and Brandon Siska were helping a man who was walking along the interstate near the sports complex. That's when police say a speeding car hit and killed all three of them. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Corrado spoke with those who knew the troopers and has the latest on the investigation. Carrie? Jessica Yuki, good evening. We are now told this is a DUI related investigation. In the meantime, we are now learning more about the two troopers who were killed in the line of duty. The Philadelphia State Police mourning their brothers in blue, 33-year-old Trooper Martin Mack and 29-year-old Trooper Brandon Siska. Troopers Mack and Siska made the ultimate sacrifice this morning. In a press release, state police say the two troopers were struck and killed on I-95 in South Philly early Monday morning while helping a man walking on the highway near the sports complex by the Broad Street exit. A car traveling at a high rate of speed struck and killed all three. And for all three, it's a reminder of how precious and fragile life really is. A police honor guard could be seen leaving the scene of the deadly crash and traveling to the medical examiner's office in Spring Garden. Trooper Mack joined the state police in 2014 and was from Delaware County and a father. Eyewitness News also learned he was an assistant lacrosse coach at Harry S. Truman High School. The players just wanted to say that Marty Mack has taught them a lot, not just as, you know, lacrosse players, but in life as well. They love the opportunities that they got to spend with them. And the lessons that he taught them will never be forgotten as far as like things as a whole. A fundraiser effort is underway to help the Mack family. Trooper Siska joined the state police in February of 2021. He grew up in Montgomery County and was also the fire chief of the Trap Fire Company. They say he leaves behind a wife and unborn child. He was a a tireless leader even before he was one of our leaders. Both troopers were organ donors. Chopper 3 video shows the troopers' bodies draped in an American flag being transported from the Gift of Life office in Philadelphia to their funeral homes. They both had bright careers ahead of them, and it saddens me to know how their lives were senselessly cut short. The female driver who is accused of hitting all three is in custody. Her name, as well as a civilian's name, has not been released at this time. We're live tonight. Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Carrie, thank you. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the tragedy on I-95. As soon as new information is released, we will have it for you online at cbsphilly.com and on our streaming service, CBS News Philly.